Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to retarget any of the Mizamo 3D motions into any 3D avatar in your Blender 4.1 3D animation software. So now, if you already have a 3D model in Blender 4.1, how are you going to apply any Mizamo 3D animations? You can see there are so many motions in Mizamo, and the Mizamo is a free website as a 3D animator. You can just use this as the animations and motions resources and how to use this. So start from now, I'm going to show you the step by step. If you love the 3D modeling and 3D animations tutorials, you can just subscribe to my YouTube channel at the bottom and also just turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. Or you can just go to freedom3d.art to just explore all the Blender's tutorials in my entire history. All right, let us start. First, I'm going to close the Blender and everything start from beginning, just a fresh 3D project. So this is Blender 4.1 that I already installed in my computer. And then, next, you need to have a 3D avatar. And now I have one. This is an FBX file. I'm going to import it into my Blender. Import FBX from my desktop. And next, I'm going to just set up the just set up the material. I click it and set up at here, and everything will go easy. Now you can see there is an armature. This armature, I'm going to rename it as model zero ones. Just load, don't leave the armature's name as armature. All right, next. I'm going to just click the skeletons, the bones, and click here. Open the viewport display. Just make sure it is showing in front and show the names. This is the first step. All right, next. You have to install a plugin that's called Rococo. So now, I will just go and go and download the Rococo plugin. It, it will be here, Rococo plugin. Blender. Just search it in Google. The first link it is a the second link you see install the Blender's plugin. The Rococo is a really awesome plugin which allows you to retarget any of the 3D animations from any other sources like Mizamo. So you need to install these plugins. And for all of this other step by step how to install the Rococo plugin in your Blender. And once you already finish install, you press N, the Rococo plugin will be here. Once you already have the Rococo plugin in your Blender, next, you can just back to the Mizamo. We are going to choose any animations here. You can even search it. For example, I search for kick. I press enter to search any of the kick actions. All right now, here is a motion that is called MMA kick. I click download. It is going to download it into my computer. That is the motion file that we need. And just wait for a while, now it is downloading. And now it is already in my, my download folder. Here, all right. It will be inside your download folder. Just right click and open your download folder. It will be inside that folder exactly. Then I already cut and paste into here. This is exactly what I had downloaded from Mizamo. So next, we are going to import the FBX file into Blender. Here, click File, Import, FBX, the MMA kick. This is the one that I downloaded from Mizamo. I double click it, it is at here. All right, so next I click the armature and I click here, just move it to here. Now you can see, once I move it, the location X is already changes. Look at this side. This is just a temporary movement. And click the armature. Next, back to here. Just show it in front, show, show the name. So that I can see all the corresponding bones. Next, at the Rococo, click retargeting the source. Click and select the Mizamo. Then the target, click and select the 
your 3D models are mature. Done. Next, click build one list. Next, at this part, we are going to check it one by one. Check it one by one to make sure all are retarget to the corresponding bone. Just for example, this one, Mizamo left up leg. Mizamo left up leg. It is corresponding to left leg. So, Mizamo left up leg corresponding to left leg. To make sure all of the bones are matched to the corresponding bones, once you, you're done already, then you scroll down. Here is the retarget animations. But before that, just now you already move the Mizamo. You need to click here to make sure the location X, you back it to zero to make sure it is at the center. Then click retarget animations. All right here, duplicate target bones entries found. So you have to check properly which one is the mistake. So just check it. The arm, elbow, wrist. So the thumb, index, one, two, three. You must make sure here there's no duplications at this part. Alright, now left leg, knee, ankle, toe. Leg, knee, ankle, toe. The little fingers, fingers one, two, three, fingers, thumb. Alright, at here, left, left shoulder, arm, elbow, wrist. Right, right shoulder, arm, elbow, wrist. Then the thumb, this is a right, right. Alright, so we check the hips. Hip, spine, chest. Alright, this is the duplications. And this one, we move it to this side and check which one is unnecessary. So, so hip, Mizamo hip, then spine. Mizamo spine is corresponding to spine. Then next one is the spine one corresponding to chest. And here, no more. So this one, we can just delete it. Make sure no duplications. Then... For this armature, you have to make it back to zero location X. Click retarget. And wait for a while. Once you finish the retarget, next we are going to hide the armature. Alright, wait. This is the Mizamo. I click and move it to this side. And I click the 3D avatar. Just turn off all this. Do the same, and we try to play and see. Now you can see, we already done the retargeting. Now the Mizamo MMA kick already retargeted on my 3D model just by using the Rococo plugin, and it is really easy. It is really fun. There are so many animations at here. You can just get use of it, use use of them to perform your 3D animations. Make it easy. Right, that's all for today about my tutorials on how to retarget the Mizamo 3D animations on your Blender 4.1 3D animations 3D avatar. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials, and sharings, if you love, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all. So that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials, or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing. See you!